This week on Blip on Blip, we've got Jake Sims and a series of super funny monologues. Hey guys, Annie here, and you're watching Blip on Blip. Kelly and I created the show to give you an inside look at what goes on behind the scenes right here at Blip.tv. On today's show, I interviewed Jake Sims, who is our project manager. He helped to oversee the entire destination site. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with Jake Sims. He is Blip's project manager. Welcome to the show. Uh, glad to be here. <laughs> awesome. Why don't you start off like everybody does on this show and tell us what it is that you do for Blip. Uh, so I am the project manager around Blip. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess uh, the general way of saying it is I make sure the trains run on time, mm -hmm. that uh, things are getting done properly, and uh, we're churning out product. Okay, cool. Uh, what's your background? How'd you, how'd you find your way to Blip? Uh, so my background is I've always kind of worked with small companies mm -hmm. and, and small digital companies. Cool. Um, beforehand, I spent about three, three and a half years at uh, a company called Sanborn Media Factory, mm -hmm. which uh, is a, a kind of a dev shop here in New York. Cool. And then I uh, just kind of was looking for a change after mm -hmm. that and stumbled uh, across Blip. I uh, got introduced to Mike and then kind of went from there. Awesome. So. Okay. So lately within the office, something's kind of been going around. People have been playing with something new on the internet. It's not really blip related, but do you want to tell us about it? Uh, uh, Turntable.fm yes. has been a, a nice little time suck for me the, the yeah. last week or so, for sure. For those of you that don't know, Turntable.fm is created by the guys that brought you Sticky Bits. And um, do you want to tell us what Turntable.fm is? Sure. Uh, Turntable.fm is, uh, man, what's a good way of saying it? Uh, it's like a social it, DJ site. Sort of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's funny. They use like internet radio rules. So you have to have <laughs> like at least two people in a room and then you just go back and forth like trading off tracks. Right. And it's each, uh, each room has like five DJ slots and you can like take turns um, playing, queuing up songs to play. So. Yeah. And the, at first everyone was kind of doing like a free for all in there, I guess. Yeah. And then uh, it, it started turning into, uh, we got kind of bored with that. So now the whole blip. Room. All the, yeah. the blippers in there, I guess, started doing <laughs> uh, different topics. Yes. And so now we have like things like uh, prison. So of course, like a lot of Johnny Cash gets played during oh, that. Oh man! All right, thanks, Jake, for taking the time to talk with us. Of course, I'll get be on turntable if you want to find me later. Do you have a what's your handle on turntable? Uh, <laughs> uh, beads or bees? Question mark. It's a uh, it's an homage to Arrested Development. Ah, uh, all right. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> Thanks, Jake, for taking the time to talk with us. If you want to hang out with us on Turntable, just look for the room called Blip.tv. Make sure you stick to the theme, though, if you're DJing. Otherwise, we'll kick you out. Anyway, we've got a bunch of great shows here at Blip.tv, and each week we like to highlight one that the whole office can't stop watching. This week, I want to talk about David Mitchell's Soapbox. Every week, David Mitchell, a very funny comedian from the UK, lays it all out and tells it like it is. For example, one monologue of his is about the word LOL. People only use it to acknowledge that you said something, not necessarily that it was funny, right? Yeah. If you'd like to check out the episodes for yourself, head on over to blip.tv slash David Mitchell Soapbox. That's it for this week on Blip on Blip. You can catch us next week and every Tuesday after that at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs>